Question 1. A nurse assesses a client with a chest tube and notes continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber. What does this indicate? A. Normal functioning. B. Blocked chest tube. C. Air leak in the system. D. The chest tube is ready for removal. Answer. C. Air leak in the system. Question 2. Which assessment finding in a patient with pneumonia requires immediate attention? A. Productive cough. B. Fever of 101 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.3 degrees Celsius. C. SpO2 of 86% on room air. D. Respiratory rate of 22. Answer. C. SpO2 of 86% on room air. Question 3. A client with a history of COPD reports new onset leg swelling. What complication should the nurse suspect? A. Hypertension. B. Pulmonary embolism. C. Pneumonia. D. Deep vein thrombosis. Answer. B. Pulmonary embolism. Question 4. What is the best intervention to prevent ventilator-associated pneumonia, VAP? A. Limit oral intake. B. Elevate the head of bed 30 to 45 degrees. C. Provide frequent chest physiotherapy. D. Keep the patient NPO. Answer. B. Elevate the head of bed 30 to 45 degrees. Question 5. A patient on high-flow oxygen via non-rebreather mask becomes increasingly drowsy. What is the priority action? A. Remove the mask and apply nasal cannula. B. Decrease oxygen flow rate. C. Assess for carbon dioxide retention. D. Call the rapid response team. Answer. C. Assess for carbon dioxide retention. Question 6. The nurse is caring for a patient who suddenly develops tracheal deviation and decreased breath sounds. What should be done first? A. Apply oxygen. B. Notify the provider. C. Perform needle decompression. D. Assess for attention pneumothorax. Answer. D. Assess for attention pneumothorax. Question 7. Which of the following tasks can be safely delegated to an experienced UAP for a stable respiratory patient? A. Educate about inhaler use. B. Evaluate cough effectiveness. C. Assist with oral suctioning. D. Adjust oxygen flow rate. Answer. C. Assist with oral suctioning. Question 8. What teaching is most important for a patient using a meter dose inhaler with corticosteroids? A. Use the inhaler before meals. B. Shake the inhaler for two seconds. C. Inhale quickly and forcefully. D. Rinse the mouth after each use. Answer. D. Rinse the mouth after each use. Question 9. A client with a new tracheostomy is being suctioned. The heart rate drops suddenly. What is the likely cause? A. Dehydration. B. Pain. C. Hypoxia. D. Vagal stimulation. Answer. D. Vagal stimulation. Question 10. Which oxygen delivery system provides the highest concentration of oxygen? A. Nasal cannula. B. Simple face mask. C. Venturi mask. D. Non-rebreather mask. Answer. D. Non-rebreather mask. Question 11. A patient with tuberculosis is on airborne precautions. What PPE must the nurse wear? A. Gown and gloves only. B. Surgical mask and gloves. C. N95 respirator. D. Face shield and gown. Answer. C. N95 respirator. Question 12. Which client condition would the nurse identify as the highest risk for developing atelectasis? A. Asthma with wheezing. B. Post-op abdominal surgery. C. COPD with productive cough. D. Cystic fibrosis on antibiotics. Answer. B. Post-op abdominal surgery. Question 13. The nurse notices a sudden absence of breath sounds in a client with asthma. What is the nurse's priority? A. 
Reassess in 10 minutes. B. Document the findings. C. Notify the provider immediately. D. Instruct patient to use rescue inhaler. Answer. C. Notify the provider immediately. Question 14. A client has a respiratory rate of 8 after opioid administration. What should the nurse do first? A. Monitor respiratory rate. B. Call the provider. C. Administer naloxone. D. Apply oxygen. Answer. C. Administer naloxone. Question 15. What is the priority for a nurse caring for a client with a chest tube that becomes disconnected? A. Notify the provider. B. Clamp the chest tube. C. Place the end of the tube in sterile water. D. Reattach the tubing. Answer. C. Place the end of the tube in sterile water. Question 16. The nurse is reinforcing education about TB medications. Which statement indicates the need for further teaching? A. I'll take isoniazid on an empty stomach. B. I must avoid alcohol while on rifampin. C. I can stop taking my meds once I feel better. D. I need regular liver tests during treatment. Answer. C. I can stop taking my meds once I feel better. Question 17. Which action demonstrates the proper use of an incentive spirometer? A. Breathe in quickly and hold the breath. B. Exhale forcefully into the device. C. Inhale slowly and maintain the target volume. D. Use the device once daily. Answer. C. Inhale slowly and maintain the target volume. Question 18. What finding is most concerning in a patient with emphysema? A. Clubbing of fingers. B. Diminished breath sounds. C. Barrel chest. D. Sudden confusion and agitation. Answer. D. Sudden confusion and agitation. Question 19. A patient with pulmonary edema is receiving furosemide. What should the nurse monitor closely? A. Sodium levels. B. Oxygen saturation. C. Blood pressure. D. Serum glucose. Answer. C. Blood pressure. Question 20. Which respiratory disorder requires airborne isolation? A. Influenza. B. Bacterial pneumonia. C. Tuberculosis. D. COVID-19. Answer. C. Tuberculosis. Question 21. A patient with COPD is prescribed oxygen at 4 liters per minute via nasal cannula. What is the nurse's priority action? A. Increase to 6 liters per minute if dyspnea worsens. B. Educate about pursed lip breathing. C. Assess for signs of CO2 retention. D. Encourage deep breathing hourly. Answer. C. Assess for signs of CO2 retention. Question 22. What is the earliest sign of hypoxemia in a patient with a respiratory condition? A. Cyanosis. B. Restlessness. C. Bradycardia. D. Clubbing of fingers. Answer. B. Restlessness. Question 23. The nurse hears coarse crackles on auscultation in a patient with heart failure. What should the nurse do first? A. Document the finding. B. Administer four fluids. C. Notify the provider. D. Suction the airway. Answer. C. Notify the provider. Question 24. A nurse is teaching a patient how to use a peak flow meter. Which instruction is correct? A. Use the meter after meals. B. Blow out slowly into the device. C. Use the meter daily at the same time. D. Sit in a reclined position while using it. Answer. C. Use the meter daily at the same time. Question 25. What lab value indicates effective treatment of respiratory acidosis? A. pH 7.29. B. PAS CO 255 millimeters of mercury. C. pH 7.38. D. HCO3 18 milliequivalent slash L.
Answer. C. pH 7.38. Question 26. A nurse is preparing to suction a patient's tracheostomy. Which step should be performed first? A. Insert the catheter. B. Preoxygenate the patient. C. Suction for 15 seconds. D. Apply intermittent suction. Answer. B. Preoxygenate the patient. Question 27. Which finding in a patient with asthma suggests worsening airway obstruction? A. Audible wheezing. B. Use of accessory muscles. C. Productive cough. D. Respiratory rate of 18. Answer. B. Use of accessory muscles. Question 28. Which patient is most at risk for developing hospital-acquired pneumonia? A. A post-op hip replacement patient. B. A patient receiving chemotherapy. C. A patient on mechanical ventilation. D. A patient with a tracheostomy. Answer. C. A patient on mechanical ventilation. Question 29. What finding would be most concerning in a patient receiving albuterol via nebulizer? A. Increased heart rate. B. Dry mouth. C. Fine tremors. D. Chest pain. Answer. D. Chest pain. Question 30. A nurse is reviewing ABG results. pH 7.50, PASO 230, HCO3 24. What is the correct interpretation? A. Respiratory alkalosis. B. Metabolic alkalosis. C. Respiratory acidosis. D. Metabolic acidosis. Answer. A. Respiratory alkalosis. Question 31. Which of the following is the best method to evaluate oxygenation in a patient with COPD? A. Level of consciousness. B. SpO2 via pulse oximeter. C. Arterial blood gas ABG. D. Respiratory rate. Answer. C. Arterial blood gas ABG. Question 32. A patient suddenly develops respiratory distress post thoracentesis. What should the nurse suspect? A. Pleural effusion. B. Atelectasis. C. Pneumothorax. D. Aspiration. Answer. C. Pneumothorax. Question 33. A nurse is reinforcing teaching to a client with sleep apnea. Which statement shows understanding? A. I should avoid alcohol before bedtime. B. I'll nap during the day to make up sleep. C. I should lie flat to improve my breathing. D. My CPAP machine is only for hospital use. Answer. A. I should avoid alcohol before bedtime. Question 34. Which medication should the nurse question for a patient with asthma? A. Montelukast. B. Albuterol. C. Propranolol. D. Fluticasone. Answer. C. Propranolol. Question 35. Which dietary choice is best for a patient with chronic respiratory acidosis? A. High-carbohydrate diet. B. High-fat, low-carbohydrate diet. C. Low-protein, high-fiber diet. D. Low-fat, high-protein diet. Answer. B. High-fat, low-carbohydrate diet. Question 36. What is the primary purpose of a chest tube after lobectomy? A. Drain pericardial fluid. B. Remove blood clots. C. Re-expand the lung. D. Prevent infection. Answer. C. Re-expand the lung. Question 37. Which client is safe to assign to a newly licensed nurse? A. post thoracentesis with absent breath sounds. B. New tracheostomy with oxygen desaturation. C. COPD patient stable on 2L nasal cannula. D. Asthma patient in tripod position. Answer. C. COPD patient stable on 2L nasal cannula. Question 38. A nurse notes paradoxical chest movement in a trauma patient. What condition is suspected? A. Flail chest. B. Tension pneumothorax. C. Pleural effusion. D. Atelectasis.
Answer. A flail chest. Question 39. A patient with cystic fibrosis needs airway clearance. Which intervention is most appropriate? A. Deep breathing and coughing. B. Incentive spirometry. C. Chest physiotherapy. D. Suctioning every hour. Answer. C. Chest physiotherapy. Question 40. What is the nurse's priority during bronchoscopy recovery? A. Check blood pressure. B. Monitor oxygen saturation. C. Assess gag reflex. D. Measure temperature. Answer. C. Assess gag reflex. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your fellow nursing students. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next one. Happy studying!